hey welcome in this video i will show you how you can set up facebook pixel conversion events and how you can also configure the aggregated event measurements now as of last week i created a video on how you can verify your domain in facebook business manager but since then i have gotten a lot of messages from my viewers because of an error that they have been experiencing even after successfully verifying the domain with my tutorial so here is the error let me show you probably you have also encountered something like that now look at this error the, the error message is this pixel will be unavailable soon this pixel has no event set up on any of your domains to continue to use this pixel for conversion event in the future edit your domain settings in event manager okay so here is the thing guys let me just explain and break this down in a way you understand so apple is about rolling out ios 14 updates depending on when you are watching this video probably it has not been rolled out yet or has been rolled out so what is happening is this face apple is giving its users the option to grant apps like facebook instagram and the likes the permission to either track them or not and as you know as an advertiser you need to be able to track so that facebook can uh, give you feedback on your pixel data so what this means is this if a user decides not to be tracked it means it will affect your ad delivery as an advertiser so this is why facebook has introduced this new protocol which is aggregated event measurement so let me read from here you see we will start processing web events from is 14 devices using aggregated event measurement now let me explain what this means now this is what will happen even if a user decides not to be tracked with this new protocol that facebook just introduced which is aggregated event measurement facebook will still be able to track the user but here is the thing Facebook requires you to one verify your domain and also choose and prioritize eight conversions conversion event rather that you can use for that domain so this means let's assume a user visits your website and place an order you know during the process the person will view up your product content the page then probably add to cart initiate checkout then purchase but now facebook won't report all of the events which means you need to prioritize the most important event so facebook will only report the highest ranked event which is purchase if you have an e-commerce store or website so these are things you need to understand now you might be thinking this is 14 hours not to do it too because you are not targeting is user but trust me this has forced facebook to start rolling out some global changes which means they are trying to also prepare for situations whereby android and other web browser start changing their own policies too so you need as a smart advertiser you need to understand what is happening you need to prepare ahead and plan ahead so that your strategy on the long run won't be affected so guys uh, enough said let's just delve into how you can configure this aggregated event measurement welcome back if this is your first time visiting my channel kindly hit the subscribe button below and also turn on the bell notification because 
I drop valuable and new content every Thursday. And we discuss topics related to Facebook advertisement, WordPress, Canva, Sales Funnel, advertisement in general, marketing, and the likes. And also, please like this video so that YouTube can show it to more people that need this solution as well. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you need to do is to go to your events manager. So to do that, just click on uh, this icon. Then you see your event manager. If not see it here, you can just scroll down. Probably you see. It. So event manager. So I'll show you how you can configure this aggregated event measurement. So you see all of your pixels. You see all of your pixels. Now. You will notice this um, new tab here, aggregated event measurement. New, nice, it is new. So just click on it, then you scroll down. Now, once you have done that, you click on this configure web events. So you can see Facebook will now show you. All of the domains that is available on this pixel listen now this I have three domains active on this domain now not just that Facebook will also show you the status of the domain verification it is either it has been verified or you are yet to verify which is this verified domain or if um, you, are, you have an access to a domain that has been verified by another business and it is shared with you. You also see it here. So th these are the three options that you have available. Now, in my case, I have verified this um, second domain here. Now listen, if you have not verified your domain, my last video, I explained everything you need to know and how you need to verify your domain facebook business manager i'll drop the link in the description so just watch the video if you don't know how to verify your domain do you get it now so what do you do next okay let me i'll pause this video now then i'll verify this domain this first domain let me verify this first domain it should, it should not take me five minutes but if you don't know how to do that just check the video link in the description below okay so i have done all of the verification process so let me just click this verify button to be sure okay this has been verified can you see i just verified under domain right now so it will not take you five minutes to do just check uh, the video in the description below you see the video on how to verify if you don't know how to so let's go back to the events manager dashboard now look at this you can see this first domain was not verified before right so let me just refresh this browser this page then it will change Can you see now? So these are basically the three options that are available. Can you see the first domain now is verified? So it is either it is verified, owned by another business that has verified it, or you are yet to verify. Okay, now since we have verified the domain, so just click on this. Now, okay, now here is the thing, guys. By default, Facebook will show you some events. Now, these are the events that has been triggered or that has been collected on the pixel if you have been using the pixel before. But if this is a new pixel that has not gotten any 
data at all it will be black but if it is not a new pixel probably i've been using it before so facebook will actually give you or show the event that has been triggered on that pixel before so if you are seeing something like purchase blah 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 that's fine now this um this is just a notice so just click on edit so once you um select the events that will use and also prioritize the event now as you can see you only have access to fill in just eight events now it is the event that you filled in here that you can be able to use in your ad set while you are setting up your ad bat. so looking at uh, these columns now you see we have the priority column where we have the highest priority so here you can select uh the pixel you are working on then the event name for chase you get it now so this uh value optimization now this value optimization is not all advertiser that has access to this value optimization this value optimization you can only have access to it provided you have received about 100 purchases in the last seven days or so you get it now and when you turn this on it will take on four events out of the eight events that you have access to you get it now so um, i've received more than i've received more than 100 purchases on this uh picture and event that's why I am able to what, turn on or turn off this value optimization. So if you cannot, it means uh, you have not actually received up to 100 uh, purchase events in the last seven uh, in the last seven days. Okay, so now the highest priority that I've set here is what purchase because I run an e-commerce store, right? So uh, let me just turn this on. So in a situation where you have two pixel that is using one domain that is you have one domain and you have installed multiple pixels on it so let me just show you this example so let's assume um, i want to add event for this other pixel towards choose purchase right so now pay attention to this, to this priority you get it now pay attention to this priority so uh, i can decide to what click on submit and then read this notice blah 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 just click on i understand yes i understand i will click on apply boom can you see can you see you have successfully changed event configuration event configuration changes will be applied to so 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 guys what this means is this i have successfully configure the event on this domain you get it now so the thing is even if you are using multiple pixel you can only verify the domain once you get it now so let me just click on ok now can you see you have what two assigned events okay so this is just like um, a notice you should be aware of now number one if you reprioritize this event or you delete an event or you turn on this value optimization you might not see the effect immediately because you'll not be able to use uh, the event at the access level while setting and preparing your campaign you need to like wait for three days before you can use the event in your campaign and also for reporting you understand so uh guys but if you add if the only thing you did here is to add a new event you will see the effect immediately without any issues but if you have done any of those daily which i have done on this account as well if you have done any of those daily uh, you need to like pay for three days before you can start using the event.
okay guys so uh, we have come to the end of this tutorial video if you find this video helpful and useful to you kindly like the video and also share with your friends you can as well subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have questions drop them in the comment box i'll be glad to assist you the link to the video on how to verify your domain is also in the description below so guys see you in the next video bye